Today we are visiting Haverford West Priory. This was the home of a group of Augustinian canons regular around 1200 AD. That's a kind of religious communism. When the dissolution of the monasteries occurred between 1536 and 1541, the priory was acquired by Roger and Thomas Barlow, the brothers of William Barlow, the Bishop of St David's who was anti-Catholic and a collaborator in the dissolution. While there are other examples of similar priories, what makes this one unique is the ecclesiastical medieval garden with raised beds, which were discovered when the site underwent an archaeological excavation. Haverford West Priory reminds me of the castle in Monty Python that uh, was built on a swamp and then that sank and so they built another one on top of that <laughs> and so on and so forth until one finally didn't sink because it's by the side of the river they had to do quite a lot to make the foundations firm enough for them to build on but because it was right next to the river and there was a lot of shipping and the ground was really quite fertile it became a desirable location and they really made the most of it because they had these massive gardens which they grew and sold produce from. So before they put the uh, dual carriageway in up there and the railway line behind it, I would imagine that this was a lovely place because You've got the river down here, which is, it's a nice decent sized river, which I should imagine full of fish and that sort of thing, so plenty to eat. And you've got your, your gardens over here for herbs and whatever else you want to grow in them. I think it would have been a very peaceful life here. It's a nice sheltered area, so you're not going to get too much in the way of wind blowing through. And on a nice sunny day, I should imagine it's perfectly idyllic as an institution, and let's not forget that's what this is. You get into a rhythm of life. It's like going to school or being in the army or any of those things where you have a regimented schedule every day. I should imagine that it would be peaceful and it would be quite serene and probably quite a pleasant way of living. The people that lived here lived in a form of communism. Everybody pooled their resources and so as a result the lives of everybody involved were improved. Whether or not it worked is neither here nor there really. Communism has a tendency of failing but what really did for this place was the dissolution of the monasteries because when that happened all the monks were thrown out the place was taken over by people who were in favour of getting rid of Catholicism in Britain and places like this were either turned into piles of rubble or alternatively flashy places to live for people who were in with the king. You can really tell there was an awful lot of wealth in this place, not only because of the stones used, but the way that the stones are dressed. You've got some nice little reminders that give you a glimpse as to how it would have looked when it was not fallen down. Sadly, no, it doesn't go anywhere, but interesting looking thing nonetheless. So this behind me is a pleasure garden and a pleasure garden is exactly what it sounds like. A garden that you can take pleasure in. They would have had herbs planted all over the place. And this is really quite unusual in the fact that not only are these gardens still visible, complete with the stone raised beds, but they are planted up. And considering that this is a ruin, you don't often see that. So, what do you think of Haverford West Priory? I think there's a lot to like about this one. Not only is it an impressive structure, but it's next to the river and it's got pretty gardens that are actually planted up. And when you see ruins like this, you don't tend to see gardens planted up. No, you don't, do you? Or the remains of gardens. No, but I suppose they were probably quite excited that they found them and decided yeah. that we will plant stuff to, you know, make it look like they probably did at the time. Possibly. I mean, whether they know what plants were planted there or whether they're guessing. I think they're guessing. They're saying that wouldn't have been um, that wouldn't have been foreign to them. And there's an indoor gardeny bit that they reckon might 
have been planted with chamomile, which means to say that it might not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it could have been making, anything. Making it up as they go along. Yeah, they could have just had a goat on a tether. But or, you know, a bit of lawn. Who a bit knows? of lawn, yeah. They don't know. But, you know. <laughs> it's, it's an interesting thing that they're guessing, which yeah. is good. I should imagine there's probably some sort of written documentation that says, oh, you know, such and such is very popular in there. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, without knowing. Without knowing. You we'll don't know. know. But you can say there probably was this, and you sound like you know what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> so with that said, if you like this film, please click that subscribe button. And, well, I guess... That's it. See you next time. TTFN.